I'm David Carnaway, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with the Kobo Mini 5. Its claim to fame is that it is the smallest e-ink reader with a 5-inch screen and a weight of only 4.7 ounces. The pluses for this e-reader are that it is indeed small. It can fit in a lot of pockets. Um, it also has a touch screen, um, and its price point at $79 is affordable. Uh, that said, it does have a slightly slower processor than some of the step-up models like the Kobo Glow, which has a built-in light, and some of the Kindle and Nook models. This has an 800 megahertz processor, so it isn't quite as zippy. The page turns aren't quite as fast, but it's certainly an acceptable e-reader. And while the e-ink screen isn't the latest generation and isn't super contrasty, uh, you can fiddle with the fonts on these Kobos and get a pretty nice clear font with these. This has an 800 by 600 display, um, so certainly on a smaller display this is going to be fine for most people. Again, this is not one of the more premium e-readers, um, and the only reason I can see you getting it is that you want a smaller e-reader that does fit in a pocket. It is certainly cute, and it comes in a couple different colors, and you can interchange the backs. Um, a couple other small things worth mentioning, this does come with two gigabytes of built-in memory. Some of that's used up for the operating system, but it does store around a thousand books. And it does get about a month of battery life if you turn the Wi-Fi off. This is a Wi-Fi only e-reader, and there is no expansion slot for more memory. So nothing terribly exciting about this e-reader except its size, and if you do like its size, it is worth considering. Otherwise, there are certainly other options at this price range, including models from Amazon and Barnes and Noble. I'm David Carnoy, and that's the Kobo Mini 5-inch. Thanks for watching.